back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. Today, I'm going to show you how I make these uh, sun-dried tomato and ricotta calzones. Very simple recipe, takes a little bit of time, definitely worth it in the end. Alright, first thing I've got is around about uh, two cups of Tipo flour, it's a uh, baking flour, you can find that in your supermarket. One cup of warm water and a seven gram sachet of dried yeast. I'm going to set that aside and let that bloom. That's when it gets all nice and frothy. Okay, so I'm also going to add in around about uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. That can go straight in on top of our flour like that. And I've also added in a teaspoon of salt, which I've also sifted. Add our yeast mixture straight in on top, just like that. And all we need to do now is mix all of that up. And I'm just going to use my uh, stand mixer like that. I should have used a dough hook in hindsight, but it doesn't matter. It's going to work out. There's our dough. Put that into a bowl with a little bit of olive oil like that. I'm going to cover it and leave that for around about an hour in a nice warm spot. And that will double in size quite easily. Okay, just cover that, walk away, and get on with our next step. Here I've got around about... Uh, 75 maybe 100 grams of sun-dried tomatoes i'm just going to put a little bit of warm water over the top of that let them soak through and they'll come nice and soft and be ready right here's our dough look at that as you can see it's actually uh, risen up a nice amount right i'm just simply going to give this a quick knead might need a little bit of extra flour to stop it from sticking but usually this recipe does work and you end up with a quite a nice elastic type dough my calzones might not look like calzones. Don't know what happened there, don't know what the reason is, but just keep uh, giving that a bit of a uh, knead as like that. And I'm going to cut this into quarters. I'm just using a little pastry cutter just like that. I'm just going to cut those up. I'm going to put those into uh, separate little bowls and let them sit there and uh, maybe rise a little bit more. Here's our sun-dried tomatoes. I'm just going to get our knife and run through those sun-dried tomatoes and give them a good chop, and that way it will just distribute all those little pieces of tomato throughout the rest of our recipe. Right, they can go straight in like that. Okay, and if you haven't tried sun-dried tomatoes from ricotta before, it's an absolute marriage made in heaven. I'm going to add in one tub, it's about 150-ish grams of ricotta. I've just bought that from the supermarket. Mix all of that up and you can add other flavorings if you want. So you could add some garlic in there if you want. I'm just keeping this really plain, really simple. Now, here's our dough. We're just going to stretch that out. You can use a rolling pin, you can use your hands, whatever tip you like. We want to try and get it somewhere near round. I think I failed in this particular instance. I don't know why, but uh, anyway, get our mixture. And we're simply going to fill around about a third of this particular pizza base just like that and this ends up being such a creamy but a real tangy type of flavor all right so get that mixed through nicely fold the top over like I'm doing right there and simply all we really need to do now is get an edge where the cheese and the tomato can't actually fall out I'm just giving you a little bit of a pleat nothing uh, really heavy duty there we're just going to give that a nice little bit of a look and when they're ready 180 degrees in the oven a couple of vent holes let any steam out so these things don't blow apart they're going to cook for around about 15 to 20 minutes and there you go now we can serve these up these beautiful little hot pockets yeah, for a better word all right Thank you so much for watching this video, really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence, it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Please share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified every time a new video goes up. But more importantly, we want to learn how to make something a little bit different, a little bit new. Um, this one turned out crappy, but it tasted mad. Well, you need to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. Right, off to it. These are sun-dried tomato and ricotta cheese calzones. And I will catch you next time. Bye.